So we are going to talk about how to prepare for the AMC. Now maybe you got a score that you didn't really like last year and you want to do better this year, or maybe it's your first time taking the test and you want to go in ready. In either case, we're going to talk about three important things to making sure that you have all the knowledge and the skills that you need before you go into the test. Now, quick disclaimer, I am not an expert on the AMC. The score that I got on February 2019 when I took the test was below 100, which it was good, but not that good. There are a lot of people who got higher scores than I did. So I'm not an expert on specifically the AMC, but I have applied a lot of the concepts that I'll talk about in this video to other areas like calculus competitions and have seen really good results. So I hope that they can help you as well. Now the first thing that we're going to talk about is curriculum. And what this means is that there is a base set of knowledge about certain mathematical areas that you need in order to start going into the AMC. I'll list a few. These are some, but definitely not the only things that you want to know. You're going to want to know a certain amount of advanced geometry. You're going to want to know combinatorics. And you're going to want to know advanced algebra, meaning you want to have the ability to manipulate expressions, know things like the exponent rules down pat so that you can apply them quickly and understand when it would be a good idea to use them. Now again, these aren't the only areas, but they are some of the primary ones. You don't need to know every single thing when it comes to these areas. You don't need to know about things like the power of a point or cyclic quadrilaterals in order to do well in the AMC. Now those will help you in some circumstances, and if you're already very good at taking the AMC and you want to get that extra edge, then I would recommend looking at some really advanced formulas, learning some shortcuts and things like that. But if you're just starting out, just make sure you have a ground knowledge of these areas. So you're going to want to know things like, for example, in geometry, if you have a triangle with sides A, B, and C, you want to know A plus B is greater than C. This is the triangle inequality. You also want to know things like the law of sines, the law of cosines, the circle formulas, and all that kind of stuff. Again, the more advanced the better, but you want to start out with just a base knowledge. When it comes to combinatorics, you want to know things like n choose k equals n factorial over k factorial times n minus k factorial. That's a formula that you'll want to know. And there are many more like that. Same goes for advanced algebra. Now once you've got a base knowledge of this kind of curriculum, the curriculum is not the thing I would focus on the most, especially if you got a score that's in the middle, kind of on the edge of qualifying for the AMI. So that brings me to the next thing I would do if you think you've got the basics of the curriculum already down, and that is learning the problem solving strategy. And here's what that means. Let's say I have an equation like this. So say I have this equation, and the AMC says solve for a times b if every term on the left is an integer. Now you probably looked at this equation and thought, I have no idea even where to start to solve this problem. And that's completely normal. Most AMC problems will not have an easy to see solution. What that means is that you're going to have to help your brain out in figuring out how to solve the problem. That means moving things around in the equation and manipulating a little bit until it becomes easier to recognize. Say you see this log square root a and you think, oh, I know. Square root is a one-half power, so I can pull this one-half out to the front. Maybe you think, what if I substituted this entire square root log a expression? Would that make the equation easier to see? What if I moved these two to the other side and took 10 to the power of each side? Would that make it easier? You keep moving, keep moving, until eventually your brain figures out what is going on. You could do the same thing for a sequence problem. So say I had this sequence. So we have the sequence a sub n equals a sub n minus 2, a sub n minus 1, divided by 2 a sub n minus 2 minus a sub n minus 1. At first, this sequence also seems very confusing. What does it even mean? But if they say find a sub 2019, you know you're not just going to go through the process 2,000 times and find the next term. But you also don't really know what to start. How can we play with this sequence to figure out what it really means? Well, the way to do a problem like this is to try writing out the first few terms. 
what's a sub 0, a sub 1, a sub 2, a sub 3, a sub 4, and on and on and on. Because if they give you a sequence, they'll give you an initial value. You can start plugging in numbers. So the idea is that you see a problem like this, and you have to start manipulating it. Because your brain has a base of intuition, but it will only be able to recognize a problem and relate it to something you've seen before if it's in a form that is recognizable. So it's your job to turn it into that form. Now I've solved this problem in another video that I'll link in the description for you to check out. But if you want a lot of practice on what this strategy looks like, I would recommend going through my older videos where I do AMC problems, but also going to a YouTube channel called Art of Problem Solving. And he does some of the harder AMC problems and goes through the process of solving, of playing with the problem and figuring out the solution. Once you have that down, try some more advanced problems from older AMCs, even if it takes you an hour to get the solution. Get this skill of being able to play with the equations. That will help you out, especially on the problems that you don't know how to solve. So there's one more thing to talk about when it comes to preparing for the AMC, and it is familiarity. And what that means is the more AMC problems you do, and the more AMC problems that you've seen and solved, the more you'll be able to recognize how to solve a problem. Now I talked about in the point on problem solving strategy, the ability to play with the problem until your brain picks up on the intuition. But the bigger base of problems, especially AMC specific problems that you've solved, the easier it will be to develop an intuition that your brain will be able to recognize a problem. It won't take as much playing around before your brain figures out, oh, I've seen something like this before, I know how to solve it. And what that means is that if you want to get a really good score on the AMC, you got to do a lot of AMC problems. The more you do them, the faster you'll be able to recognize and get to the solutions. Because even if you have the problem solving strategy down pat, you know you could solve any AMC problem that's out there. If it takes you two hours to go through all the questions that you want to answer, the test is only 75 minutes. You're going to have to go faster than that. And that means getting familiar with what the problems look like, learning some of the common problem types that go on the AMC, learning how to solve edge cases and combinatorics when it comes to more confusing problems. All these kinds of things come with practice and doing a lot of problems. So these are the three things that I would recommend you do to prepare for the AMC. First, develop a base of curriculum in things like geometry, combinatorics, and advanced algebra that show up a lot on the AMC. Second, develop the problem solving strategy of playing around with problems by doing some advanced problems on the AMC and checking out the Art of Problem Solving YouTube channel to see how he solves some of the more advanced problems. And the last one is familiarity, which means doing as many problems as you can so that when you get into the test room, you're able to recognize a lot of the problems as something you've seen before so you're able to get to that solution. I hope this helps you the next time you take the AMC, and good luck.